This is code.org. I'm currently working on Hour of Code, their Minecraft stuff, and then Voyage Aquatic, which is their new uh, course, level 8. First icebergs, now lava. La oh yeah, definitely. Get through this volcanic island, bum bum bum, and find the tropical fish, tropical fish, in the coral reef. Okay. Is that the fish? I don't think so, though. Maybe, is it hiding in the coral reef? Hmm. All right, so I guess we'll find out. Um, I'm assuming, again, this is the coral reef. I don't think... Well, that might be. It's the only fish I see. All right, let's try heading over there. Quick reminders, this is the code that we use. This is our workspace run. Let's see what they have for us already. Oh, okay, yeah, they started us with no code. All right. I'm going to make this a bit bigger. So we can start by, well, moving forward. Okay. And then how many times? Can I go through Coral Reef? I'm really not sure. So let's move forward twice and try turning. Turn. And I'm going to switch to right and then move forward. Let's test this out. Nope. Definitely cannot go forward. Okay. So... Let's reset that and keep going. We got to go around. How many times? Oh my goodness. You know what's probably a better way to do this is use one of our repeating loop things, right? So repeat until goal. So I'm going to get rid of this for now and say repeat until goal. And then this way I will keep doing whatever code. Whatever code is in this will keep running. So repeat until goal. I'll move forward and it will go back up and move forward and move forward and move forward. We're definitely going to need some other code than this, but I'm going to count how many times I move forward. Once, twice, three times, four times, five times, six times. Okay, I think it was seven. So let's see. Seven times and then... Ooh, we can use what we did last level with our if statement. So if path, this way the computer will check each after each move forward, right? So every time we run through this, I'll move forward, and then the computer will check if path to right. So the computer says, okay, is the path going to move right? If so, I can do, and I could say if path to right move forward, but that wouldn't make much sense. I'd hit a wall pop. So I want to do if path to right move right. Whatever is inside of our if statement if the computer answers yes to this, if path to right, turn right. Whatever's inside here, the computer will run. If path to right and it's not to the right, the computer will just go to the next line, and which is the end of this, so then it will go back up and around and we'll keep moving forward. Let's test this out. So I'm going to go right, if path to right, no, no, yes, okay, turn to the right, move forward. If path to right, yes. Turn to the right, loops back around, move. Oh, oh, excellent. And we got it. Um, and so this is the code that worked for me. Awesome. Let's keep going. 